Wow, it's really cold these days, isn't it? Winter is indeed coming. What's best in a cold day but a bowl of soup to warm your insides while watching the snow falls? Well, France has a lot of good answers for that. Welcome to Foodie Legends, your go-to source for the best foods to eat around the world and their history. Today, we will fly to France to have a taste of their 5 best soup dishes that can help us stay warm for the upcoming winter season. Coming in at number 1 on our list is one of the most iconic dishes in French cuisine, the soup à l'oignon, otherwise known as French onion soup. When you think of a soup made in France, most of you would probably imagine a bowl of steaming hot French onion soup. Known for its reputation as a comfort food, do you know that this hearty soup actually started as a peasant dish? Eating onion soup has been a common practice in Europe as early as the Roman times. Onions are abundant all over the land and very easy to cultivate. Hence, it is seen as a food of the poor. Just take a pot, pour in some water, beef bones, and a ridiculous amount of onions, then served in a bowl paired with some stale bread. Then you'll have a fulfilling meal for the night. The version of the French onion soup as we know is originated in Paris, France in the 18th century. It is commonly made from beef broth and slow-cooked onions. Its popularity can be credited to a restaurant owner named Henry McQueen and his wife, Marie-Julie Grandjean McQueen, who was the chef. They introduced French onion soup to America through their restaurant in New York in 1861. From then on, French onion soup wildly grew in popularity and the variety of recipes became countless. There are many ways of cooking French onion soup, but basically, caramelizing the onions is the most fundamental concept. Sherry, brandy, or white wine is then added for deglazing, and then it is finished by topping the soup base with slices of bread or crouton. For a gratinate version, the crouton is further topped by a rich layer of cheese, which will then be finished in the oven. The layered cheese will melt and have some char. And does that make you crave for it now? <laughs> yeah, boy. Coming in second on our list is Vichyssoise, another French soup dish that was born out of necessity and a simplistic but delicious soup as well. Vichyssoise is also called potage parmentée, named in honor of the French nutritionist Antoine Augustine Parmentée, who popularized the eating of potatoes in France in the 18th century. There are many origin stories surrounding this dish. It is said that the original creator of Vichyssoise is a chef named Louis Diat, who worked at the Ritz Carlton in New York City. However, some food historians argue that it was another French chef named Jules Gouff who made the earlier recipe of this dish, writing in a recipe book named Royal Cookery in 1869. Originally, Vichyssoise was served hot, but according to some hearsays, King Louis XV was afraid of being poisoned so he had food tasters try the soup first. By the time it reached the king, the soup was already cold. Strangely, the king liked it better that way, and from then on, Vichyssoise is served cold. Vichyssoise is actually quite easy to prepare. This soup is just made with potatoes, leeks, cream, onions, and chicken stock, pureed into perfect thickness. Perfection. And that's the way it is, simple and delicious. We cannot make a French soup list without some seafood. In the port city of Marseille, fishermen would gather the leftovers from their catch and cook it into a soup. And so the third French soup in our list came to existence. 
Coming in at number three on our list is the bouillabaisse, a traditional Provençal fish too. It is believed that bouillabaisse was born in Marseille in the 18th century as a way to use the leftover catch of the fishermen that they deemed not worthy enough to be sold for the markets. You're unworthy! What used to be a soup where the rustic origins evolved to be a luxurious menu item in various restaurants, since a single bowl is an ocean of seafood feast, there are no limits on how you can make your bouillabaisse. You can basically put every fish and seafood you can think of. However, a traditional Marseille bouillabaisse, according to the famous chef Julia Child, stated, A traditional Marseille bouillabaisse contains rascas, a bony rock fish that lives in the column case. Aside from that, you can add another fish such as sea robin, red gurnard, monkfish, john dory, and sea urchins. It is then flavored by tomatoes, garlic cloves, onions, olive oil, fennel, bouquet garni, saffron, salt, and cayenne pepper. Bouillabaisse is served with slices of country bread layer with rui, a spicy type of mayonnaise. Now, that's a hearty meal for a hungry fisherman. Are you feeling sick and you feel like you can't eat solid food? This one may just be the right one for you. Coming in fourth on our list is the consomme, a clear and clarified bowl of soup. The tradition of consuming consomme has been an ancient practice, going as far as the Middle Ages in Europe. They would simply boil various cuts of meat in a large pot together with some vegetables and herbs, then straining it with a cloth to get a very clear broth. Today, consomme takes various forms, but the concept remains almost the same. Basically, consomme is made by combining a variety of ground meat together with mirepoix, referring to an assortment of herbs such as celery and onions. Tomatoes and egg whites are then added to the stock which will be simmered, stirring it occasionally so that the impurities reach the top of the liquid to be taken out. Fat and scum will form on the surface as well which will be skimmed out of the pot. Making consomme is a long and laborious process in order to keep the broth as pure as possible. You know it's done when the consomme attains a clear amber color. It may seem light and bland, but it is flavorful. You can sip consomme as it is, or use it as a base broth for other soups. If you just want to have a bed rest and sip a cup of broth, consomme is just the perfect one for you. Coming in last but not the least on our list is bisque, a very flavorful soup of French origin. This soup earned its name supposedly because it was derived from the name of its birthplace, the Bay of Biscay. However, some food historians suggest that bisque came from the words biscuits, which means twice cooked. Originally, Bisque was not designed to be a luxurious soup. Just like the rest of the soup dishes on our list, bisque is a fisherman's dish, using the crushed shells of crustaceans to give flavor to the broth. The earliest references of bisque dates back to the 17th century. Crustaceans and shellfish were plentiful, so they were considered to be a poor man's food. In the second half of the 19th century, chefs discovered that lobsters and other seafood are better cooked fresh than dead. It began to develop a certain fan base, although most people still look at it with derision from the earlier parts of the 20th century. Later on, there was a shift in trends and crustaceans became a luxury food item, and bisque 
developed a handsome reputation as well. Bisque is a pureed soup, using ingredients such as seafood, wine or cognac, cream, butter, seafood stock made from the roasted shrimp shells and shellfish, bouquet garni, and other herbs and spices. It is then topped with a lobster tail or some shrimps. Rich, flavorful, and decadent, bisque surely reached a long way from its humble origin. What a privilege to have a taste of this bisque. Thanks again for tuning in with us here today at Foodie Legends for our latest episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a nice taste into the well-loved soup dishes that France has to offer. Before you go, be sure to like this video and click the subscribe button for more delicious content every week. We'd love to hear your thoughts too, so leave a comment below to let us know what your favorite part of the video was or if you want to just leave us with a few thoughts. You guys are awesome. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.